Homecoming the Musical is starting right now. Ugh. It's time for me to take you on homecoming dates. Not if I want to, also. Okay, but technically it's all first. I think okay, the only way for me to take her You're on a date. You're literally the most awesome. I'm calling you guys. Let's watch the movie. Homecoming the Musical starting right now. When it comes to high school, there are four guaranteed things to happen. You'll be judged by everyone you meet, you'll make friends and enemies, your head will fill with drama and anxiety, and your heart will be broken multiple times. At least that's how I see it. I know these already sound bad, but imagine you're the only person in school who starts a school year in mid-September. That just basically means these rules apply to me times 1,000. Why choose one when you just can't pick at all? Erica, I don't want you to be late for your first day of school. You need to eat breakfast. I'm coming, Mom. I'll be down in just a second. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning, Mom. Hey, where's your jacket? I just decided not to wear one today. Oh, okay. Thanks, sweetie. Are you sure? It's not even cold outside. Why do you keep asking? It's not like I was in my room struggling to decide what to wear. <laughs> I just decided not to wear one. Oh, uh, yeah, because that would be such a shocker. <laughs> just, what time is it? Um, 8.13. Oh, my God. School starts at 8.20. We have to go. Dad, come on. Wait, you haven't finished your breakfast yet. I don't care. I don't want to be late for school. Come on, let's go. story short, I moved here from Los Angeles last week to this little dinky town in Georgia. My mom's job or something had to move, so we had to move with it. I had so many friends. I was enjoying my semester and I even had my homecoming dress ready. But now I have to start a new life, make new friends in this new house, new town, new school. <sighs> I don't know, I'm, I'm just a bit nervous. Well, we're here. Okay, thanks dad. Wait, listen, you don't need to be nervous about today, okay? Who knows, you might even find something special here. I hope I do, dad. Thanks, I'll see you later. Bye, love you. Love you too. New student? In the middle of the semester? They didn't tell me anything about this. I'm probably the worst treated teacher here. Um, do you know where I could take a seat? You know, sometimes, no, most of the time. Yeah, I regret being a teacher all the time. You sit in a crowded classroom for eight hours or more of your day, and you've got to deal with a bunch of these teenagers who, as a matter of fact, they just, they just stink. You stink! They don't pay attention to half the things that you're telling them, but oh, you're supposed to be hands-on and care about their education. Well, guess what? I don't give half a pickle. Goofy! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. And don't even get me started on the cheating. Oh, my God. Like they're just mouthing the answers to each other, or they're, they're tapping on the table like, hey, B. Like it's some kind of Morse code or something. Well, guess what? I make... 21 different versions of my test every single time 
So it never, ever works. Cap. Why? So you might be asking, why, after all this, after all this torture, do I still remain a teacher? Because you can't get another job? I never asked that. Her. Her? Her smile is like a bowl of ice cream. No, 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 no. Lemonade on a hot summer's day. I'm so Her mere presence is the reason I stay in this school. You know what? I see an open desk right there. It was nice talking to you. I really like your hair clip. Thank you. Oh my god, twins! So where'd you come from all of a sudden? I came here from Los Angeles. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. I was born there. I moved here when I was four. Really? I thought that's so cool. Yep. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I stayed up all last night watching the last episode of the Beanbag Boys. No way. I love that show. You do? Uh-huh. I'm obsessed with it. Wow, same hair clip, like the same show, from the same place. Are we like the same person or something? Good morning, class. Um, I believe we have a new student with us today. Her name is Erica. Uh, th that's me. Hi, Erica. I've sent you an email regarding everything from this unit. So, please make sure you're caught up by Friday as we're, we'll be taking a unit test. Oh. Yeah! Shut up, Rice! Uh. We're going to be taking this test whether you guys like it or not. Man, learning all this new material by Friday? It's okay, I got you. If you ever need anything, you can use my notes. How about you give me a whole rundown of the whole school? Okay. Oh, wait, no, 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 I was just joking. Let's go. There is just so much here I have to show you. Please do. I realize things are hurting and it's hard for a new girl like you right here. I think that you'll find something. Something special Can't wait And it will make it better As long as As long as we just stick together Homecoming is coming soon Loco is coming Homecoming As you can see, homecoming is kind of a big deal here This right here is Levi and his friend group Loco, there we Yep You sure seem to know a lot about this place. Well, I've always been the observant type. This is my whole life. I will be the queen. I'll rule over this high school. There's no doubt about it. I'll rule this damn high school. As you can see, she's a faker and a wannabe. She's rotten down your core. Okay. Sorry. Alright men, form up. We want to win this homecoming game, so I'm going to whip your lazy asses into shape right now. Our team sucks balls, but the dance is baller. Let's get this thing done and rule on the field. Because homecoming's coming, so we can win. And when we win, come to our party. All that energy, and they've never won once. Right here, I think they will find something, something special. special. I'm so lucky that I have found you. Stars, I can do this. I don't feel so scared. I'm not the best. I can do this. I don't feel so scared now. Homecoming, homecoming, homecoming is almost my God.
so much for telling me all of this. Of course, if you ever need anything, I'm here. Thank you so much. So, where's Axel? He's in line for lunch. What the heck? There's not even a line. What's he even doing? I don't know, dude. Hey, guys. Well, it's about time you showed up. What do you need that much food for anyway? Got woke up for the big homecoming game. Here we go. What? You guys are making such a big deal about this homecoming nonsense. <gasps> See, this is why nobody likes you. Homecoming is literally the biggest event of the year. Yeah, I don't know why you think otherwise. Well, speaking of homecoming. Oh, here we are. Oh. What? We already know what you're about to say. No, you don't. Yes, bro. This is literally you. Please put me in the arena. I don't sound like that. Stop. I just want to win again. You will. It's not like there's any threat. And as leader of the friend group, I need you guys to help me. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who said you were the leader of the friend group? Me, you, the whole group, the entire school? Because I'm the most popular. Okay. Hold on now. Morgan, calm down. Here, take this. Pass it around. So, anybody got a date? No. <laughs> I could, I could, but I, I don't no. want to. I'd say. Yeah. No. Oh, uh, well. Looks like that's the bell. Yeah. Bye, guys. Morgan! Oh. I can't believe you! <laughs> Isn't this such a sweet movie? <laughs> Ralph! Huh? Huh? Oh, hey, sweetie. Were you even paying attention? Yeah. Oh, really? Then what just happened? The night came in and kidnapped the unicorn. What are you talking about? That may have been my dream. Oh my god! What, can a man not sleep anymore? You, uh, you're not even you listening to I me. I wanted to watch a, a double movie today. with you. I just and want to sleep. Don't you're sleeping? We can do oh, another one. I just, I'm tired, okay? I'm just tired. tired. Okay? I'm just oh, tired. Can I not have okay, an hour or two? Just, so just to relax. I mean, I'll just relax. Sleep. I don't. Oh, 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 the time. Hi. How was your first day? It was great. I can see that since you brought a friend into the house without asking. Honey, don't be rude. Sorry. Hi there. Sorry, I'm just a little mad because my nap was interrupted by a woman who just wants to watch a movie with her husband. Oh my god, I, I, can I not just have a minute to myself? I'm just so tired of you. Guys, just, this is Nicole. She's in my first period and lunch. She's really sweet. She lives right across the street. Pleasure to meet you, Nicole. Nice to meet you. Oh. So I'm assuming you'll be out now with Nicole and all her friends all the time. No, I don't have many of those. Oh, well, okay. Well, I guess we'll see you more often now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, Erica, are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Mm -hmm. All right, bye. <laughs> She's nice. Yeah, sweetie. Yeah, she is. Anyways, I need 80 bucks. Huh? For what? What do you need $80 for? You just started school. I want to join the choir at my school. And you need $80 for that? Honey, you can sing right here for free. Mom? What? I gotta make sure these $80 are actually going towards something. Yes, Mom, my uniform, the other expenses. And are you sure you can't just sing right here for free? <laughs> Mom. Fine. Give me your wallet. Ralph, huh? wake what? up! Oh my god! You know, Ricky, he's a really nice guy. Yeah. Me and my family, we were in a really rough spot, and he was there for us. He really helped us out, and I really appreciate that from him, how much of a caring and kind soul that he is. 
Okay, so Morgan, here. All right, uh, Madeline, here. Awesome, uh, Cole, here. Alexander, here. All right, and then do we have Lindsay? Here. Awesome, and Brandon? Okay, um, all right, so we're gonna get started on alma mater, is that all right? Hi, is this roommate or one? Oh yeah, yes, and your name is? Erica McCarthy. I just transferred here yesterday. Oh, so that's the name on my roster. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's me. So, any prior singing experience? Uh, no, not really, just singing in the shower. <laughs> Well, is there anywhere you want me to sit in particular? Uh, next to Morgan is fine. Okay. Hi, I'm Erica. Morgan. All right, guys, so I'm gonna work with tenors and basses. Can sopranos and altos please just work quietly? Um, hey, can you help me real quick? I'm a bit lost. We're not really on the same part, so I don't know how much I'd be able to help you. Oh, okay. Morgan, this is what you no know. No one else is interested in you and keep looking at people like that. Are you serious? You're meaner than Coach Moody sometimes, Morgan. Fine, what do you need help with? Oh, really? Um, I just need the starting note. Well, I start on a low G, which sounds like this. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was really good! Okay. Well, you start on a high C, so let me play that on the piano for you. Was that good? Uh, yeah, it, it was good or whatever. Oh, okay. Thank you, Morgan. I think I got it from here. See you tomorrow, Morgan. What is this feeling? I can't look away. Why isn't this just any normal this new girl caught my attention and now my heart is racing Her smile is glowing, my heart is racing Hey, look out! Whoa, how did you... Is this yours? You play football here? Yeah. Cool. What's your name and what position do you play? I, I, I'm Axel. I'm the r receiver. <laughs> oh, well, I think you should probably practice with a better quarterback next time. Oh. <laughs> See you later. There's no way this girl just caught the ball She just ran off as if it was nothing at all My head is spinning, what am I missing? Erica, the new girl in town Your form is gorgeous, hope to see you around Whoa, baby. Come around these parts often. Um, I'm actually new here. Who are you? I'm gonna man of your dreams. Oh, 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 okay. Wait! I think my 
phone is <laughs> it's missing something. What is that? Yeah. Fine, you win. Here you go. Well, I guess I'll be seeing you. Erica? Yeah. <laughs> Damn she ah! Erica What do I even say? Normally I just get turned away. She actually gave me her number. There's no freaking way. Damn it! Shh, Bryce, this is a library. Sorry, I didn't mean to make such a scene. I'm such a klutz. Here. I love this book. I, me too. We have so much in common. Off of one book? Sorry, I don't even know why I said that. Hey, it's okay. It was nice seeing you. Bryce, is it? Yeah. Awesome. I'm Erica. See you later. A girl just held my hand. What do I even say? She was so pretty, my heart is melting away. She said my name. I hope to see her again someday. Go from your home to my You already know who I am. Go from your home to my Remember me from last year? Go from your home to my Oh, you already know who I am. Go from your home to my I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm sorry, what? You said that I already know who you are, but I have no idea who you are. Well, I'm Levi Bowman, the two-time winning homecoming court representative for my class, and you should vote for me. Why should I? It's not like it's a big deal. Not a big deal? Do you know how embarrassing it would be to have the most popular guy in school and not make it to homecoming court? This would be my third year winning. So amazing! Right? Yes, I knew you would think that. Except if you really were popular enough, I already know who you are. Uh, 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 and, and who even are you? You're like a nobody. I'm Erica, and at least now we're on the same boat. Erica? Who does she think she is? I want her. So, you're the new soprano and choir, right? Yeah. Well, hi, I'm Madeline. This is Mickey, hi. this is Chili, this is Chili, and this is Billy. And then over there, uh, Lily's getting lunch. Nice to meet you guys. Well, we're so glad that you joined. And can you face me while I'm talking, please? Thank you. Well, I'm on the choir leadership team, and there's a social event tomorrow if you want to come. Yeah, of course. What time? Right after school. Oh, awesome. Guys! Where were you this whole lunch period? Doesn't matter. What are you guys doing tomorrow afternoon? Well, I was gonna... Not anymore, because you guys are going to the choir social event. Wait, but I have football practice. I gotta prep for the homecoming game. Doesn't matter. You guys are gonna lose anyway. Why should we even go? Well, I met this new girl in choir in... Stop, 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 stop. There's nothing there. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I have to go see who would put their eyes on you. Hey, does, does my hand smell funny? Oh, yeah, of course it does. Oh my god, my face! Ow! Oh. Guys. Oh. 
Jeez, dude, what was that? You broke your promise. What do you mean? You were supposed to eat lunch with me like you promised. Oh no, I'm so sorry. No, I don't forgive you. Why not? Because you didn't listen to my advice about those mean girls. It's like you're not even my friend. I am your friend, and those girls are actually really nice. They invited me to the choir social event tomorrow, and I think it'd be really cool if you came. I don't know, I'm not really social. Just trust me, I'll stick by your side the whole time. We're gonna be okay. We can even go shopping for our homecoming dresses later on. You really mean it? With my whole heart. Fine, I'll go. But you do promise to stay with me the whole time, right? I promise. They've been going pretty well, except I'm just a bit nervous about my first social event. Don't be. You're a lovely young lady. I'm sure everybody can love <laughs> Thank you, Miss Summers. Of course. Hey, Madeline, you might come in with a couple other favors on the Hey, it's okay. There's no reason to be nervous. Everyone here already likes you, I guess, so it's fine. <laughs> you're so sweet, Morgan. I used to think you were cold, but I think you're starting to warm up to me. I mean, I guess. I'm just being nice. Oh, Nicole! Are you having fun? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, literally, that's what I was saying. Like. <laughs> you didn't tell me she was going to be here. Oh, she's the vice president of choir. Why wouldn't she be here? How do you know all this? I got to talk to her yesterday. Oh, okay. Hey, Erica, can you help me out with these planks? You said you wouldn't leave me alone during this. Oh, uh, Morgan, can you help Madeline with the cups? Uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can tell, right? I've been, been working out. See, I bought a Fitbit the other day. My heart rate is 67. <gasps> sorry, Emily, sorry, sorry. I, I brought toppings. Oh, thank you. There's nothing really here, but thanks. Anything for you, Miss Summers? Um, you can call me Yasmin. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, but you never let me. Um, you can finish putting these on the table. Thanks. Oh. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. That's kind of stressful. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Hey, 27. Where were you at practice today? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. You know we have a homecoming game coming up, right? I, and I, I said I would go to your stupid party if we won. I know, coach. You know what? Give me 100 push ups right now, and I mean right now. One, two. You, you called out a push up? No, restart. One, two, three, four. Here you guys are. Oh, hey Morgan. I need to introduce you guys to her. To who? The girl I told you about. Oh. Where is she? Uh, I don't know. She's around here somewhere. You call that a push-up? Do a hundred more. Oh man. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hey, how are you guys liking the social event so far? Oh, it's, it's good. I just didn't have the time to just look around and stuff. Oh, then I'll show you around. Come on. You said you'd be by my side the entire time. Oh, you can just come with us. No, it's fine. I'll just stay here. Are you sure? Yeah, it's whatever. Oh, okay. You know what? Stand up. You're going to meet me after practice tomorrow, and I'm going to make you run till your legs fall off. Yes, sir. You good, bro? No, my arms feel like they're about to give out. Well, let's go see if the nurse is here. Oh, bye. All she's gonna do is give you ice. And that's what I need right now. Come on, me and I will take you. Can y'all carry me? No! Fuck out of here. <laughs> hey guys, high five! Oh. <laughs> Alright, bye. <laughs> oh, hey Madeline. Ready for our third straight win next week? What do you mean? Because you know, we're obviously the third straight homecoming king and queen again. You're still on that? Oh, it's you again. Bandits! Uh, you still don't remember my name? Nope. Well, 
I know yours. It's Erica. Well, I guess the shoe's on the other foot now. Well, my name's Levi. Make sure to remember it this time. I'll try. Well, you'll be sure to remember it if you let me take you out this weekend, maybe lunch. I don't know if I want to go on a date with a nobody. Oh, uh, wait, no, I'm not a nobody. You just have bad memory. I've been the homecoming girl for three years. I have so many friends, and I can drive this big blue car, and you have no friends. I am nobody. I'm not new. I can't <laughs> Wait, will you go out with me, please? Fine, if you want to so bad. Woo! Guys, he's doing his silly dance again. Hey, stop! What's got you all happy? I'm going on a date this weekend. Wait, with who? Oh, I've had my eye set on this girl for a while now. So of course, naturally, she would come begging for me to take her out. Well, what's her name? I don't like to jinx myself before a date. Lucky. I wish the girl I liked would do that for me. I ran into her while I was throwing the ball the other day. Wow, I guess it really is crush season. Shut up, Bryce. What? Dweebus. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm tired of you being me- Guys, stop. I need to introduce you to the girl I have a crush on. You know, I'm starting to think she's fake. She's not. All right, attention all choir students. We're gonna be coming up here so you guys can perform. Help, my lovely high school, I pledge to thee. I will act with integrity. Oh yes, with the lobster, our great mascot, great Lambert. She's so beautiful. Oh well, yes, I would say Miss Summers is very attractive. Yeah, Yasmin is very beautiful. You know what? I think it's kind of unprofessional to be calling a teacher by her first name, you know, when there are students around at school. Well, she gave me permission. And why does it even matter to you? It's not like you like her or anything. I've loved Miss Summers ever since I came to this school. I'm way ahead of you, bud. Uh, me and her are already on a first name basis. Well, I could be too if I wanted to. I've got a bet for you, bud. Since we're all chaperoning homecoming, why don't we check and see who she'd rather hang out with after homecoming? Deal. But we already know who that's gonna be. Whatever. Who's ready to play rock, paper, scissors? I'm for sure winning this! <laughs> yeah, come on, Bryce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If I win, I don't have to run anymore. That's right, that's right. Come on, coach. You got this, yeah. Took that boy. Took yeah. that boy. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah! Let's go, I'm running a ball, let's go! Yeah! Yeah! One, two, three. Ah. Yeah. Ah. 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 You went early! Ah. You went early! Ah. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Easy comes! Alright, men, if you support me, I'll get you all free tickets. No! Oh my god! Come on! All right, what is lame? Oh, what is that? <laughs> oh! 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 Hey, hey. Oh! Yeah. That's two out of three. Let's I'm go. a respectable man. What are you doing, bro? Oh! Oh! Morgan, we did it! Oh. We did it! Oh. I love you, Coach Tucker! Oh. Yes! No! Dang it! Dang it! What is it about her? Erica. You lied to me.
this to me. I'm the outcast, I'm the loner, I'm the mystery that's never really there. She left me all by myself. So? It's time I make her life a living hell. Stay right here! Wait, why? Just stay! Okay. Wait, where are you guys going? Axel's arms feel like noodles. We're gonna take him to the doctor. But, but I found the girl. We can meet her tomorrow when my arms don't feel like spaghetti. We'll see you later, all right? He's about to die. Wait! Dang it! Look, look where you're going, dude. I lost, I lost my place! L look what you did! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, something's wrong. Huh? It's just, everyone's so agonizingly happy. I can't just be happy that I got a date last night? Oh, I forgot about that. Why are you guys happy? Because I... Because I'm planning to ask someone to homecoming. Wait, really? Me too! Me too, but my arms are still a little sore, so I'll try to lift up the poster. Wow, are you gonna be able to play next week? I mean, yeah, the doctor said it was okay. I just need to wear these today because my arms are still sore. Sissy. What did you just call me? Guys. Are, are you serious? 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 Stop arguing. I guess everybody in the group is in love. I guess it really is crush season. Shut oh, up, Bryce! Right? Keep it. I I'm serious. Plus, we don't even know who anyone's interested in. Yeah, that's true. Do you guys have any pictures of the girls you're interested in? Well, no. Nope. I don't have anything. I can sort of describe her, though. It's her. Her hair. Her eyes. Her smile. Her voice. Her charm. She drives me wild I want her to know Who I tell her I need her to know I want to be with her It's you It's you It's you I saw her first. What makes you think you have she a chance? Me she knows me best. Things you all think you're up to my love Or oh, let's see who really survives A competition, first one to get her to Hulk wins The heads up, he's already arrived What? What if we let Erica decide? <laughs> no, that's never gonna work No, 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 no. Levi But guys, just think we all want to impress her, that's a chance to show who likes her best. I guess. Wait, yes, this is my chance, Erica and me. I can see her again. I wonder Maybe if she'll go. She I have to me. beat them all. So you all agree. 
is gonna be You know, I'm kind of glad I said yes to going on this date. You know, I used to think you were a jerk. What? Me a jerk? Never got that one before. I don't know, you just seem so self-absorbed, I guess, from how much you talk about the homecoming court. Is there anything special about it to you? My, my whole life, I've been held to a higher standard than other people. Levi comes first. Levi's on the homecoming court. Levi's the best. But what would happen if I wasn't the best? I guess it just seems like everyone wants you to be perfect, but what if you didn't have to be? I think you'd still be cool. <laughs> what do you mean what would happen if I wasn't perfect? The end of the world. You have no idea how much social status means to my family. I may come off as a jerk to you, but I assure you I have my reasons for being this Awesome and smart and handsome and beautiful and a great person. You know, a girl like you is lucky to even be on a date with me right now. Not, even, not to mention a, a new girl. <laughs> Welcome to the marvelous charms of Levi. Oh, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Uh, I meant to say, welcome you to the charms of Levi Bowman. Best move. What, are you insecure of your own pickup line? No, I'm not insecure. God, you drive me crazy, new girl. I mean, Erica. Why did you bring us out here? Yeah, it's too hot. I'm trying to rest for the big homecoming game this weekend. Look, you're gonna lose. We all know it. Second, look at that. Why Why think that? Is that Levi? No. It sure looks like Levi. Of course it is, Bryce. Damn. Why are we watching him eat with Erica? Because I think he's gonna ask her to homecoming. How did we know that? Well. I was just listening to music in the fourth block when all of a sudden Erica comes into the classroom out of nowhere and she tells me Looking good today, Owen. And I was absolutely flabbergasted. Like, I knew I looked good, but not to the point where my crush would come out of her way to a class she's not even in to say it to me, you know? Not so bad yourself. I have something to tell you. <laughs> Anything. You know your friend, Levi? Unfortunately. Well, apparently he's planning to ask me out to homecoming this weekend on our date, and I just wanted to let you know that I'm absolutely disgusted by this idea. <laughs> Wait, why? Because I wanted to go to homecoming with you, Owen. You're the dream guy to all the ladies in the school. That's what they told me when I first came here. Owen! That is not what happened. Yes, it is. Word for word, bar for bar. Put it on God, bro. That's obviously not what happened. Yeah, Erica would never speak that way to a man. Or woman. <sighs> Fine. Let me keep it a buck. Anyways. I was listening to my favorite artist. Just tell the story. Fine. It was Coach Mooney's fourth block, and I was really tired. And I turned to Levi and asked him, Hey, I'm really tired. Can you give me a drink from the vending machine? Why can't you do it? Because I'm really tired. Now, can you give me a drink? Go. Oh. Fine. And while he was gone, I noticed something was by his bag, so I got up to see what it was. I thought you said you couldn't get up. Shut up, boy! Let me tell my story. Oh. My. God. It was a homecoming proposal poster. <gasps> he's planning to ask her today! Well, how do you know that he's asking her? Dude, look at the poster. <laughs> <laughs> Something's off about this. Levi usually goes all out in his homecoming proposals. Also, we shouldn't be spying on Erica. No, we're gonna lose the competition if we don't do something about it. No, y'all are gonna lose this competition for trying to cheat. I'm out of here. You regret it, and, and I'm gonna be here with my sexy homecoming date. Yeah, I'm gonna win the game and the date. Right, Bryce? Get home safely. What are they doing? I don't know. Shh. 
We're gonna find out the We gotta get that poster But just uh, not now Just follow me Okay, so Bro why don't you go this way, you go that way, me, I'll just lay low You could have just said no There she is, it's Erica We should go No, now's our chance Ready, go! go. We gotta get that poster We got to stop him He was the worst at this stuff anyway She'd be more happy with me any day Maybe stopping Levi will show how much I care She'll watch me stop him and be like Maybe Erica will notice me Maybe I can see her smile I would feel so lucky We gotta get that poster Yes! Bro, what are you talking about? Why are you I'm talking? Money. What are you, you even talking about? Right you cannot stop right now. My dad big <laughs> What? <laughs> no, he doesn't. What are you talking about? Oh. Oh. Someone's moody today. I cannot believe you three. Bro, uh, what, what are you talking about? Do not play dumb with me. I know what you did. You sabotaged my day with Erica. What do you mean? How dare you accuse us of such heinous activities? Y yeah, us? We would never do something like that. We don't know what you're talking about. Right, Bryce? Yeah, we totally didn't spy on you at the park the other day. You did too! All of you took my poster, that's cheating! You have no proof. You, how, how could you even say it was us? Like, what if you just lost it? I told him. What? what? Why? And I know for a fact that Erica wouldn't want a man who cheats. <laughs> you don't know her. I know her better than everyone at this table. And that's not true either. Oh yeah? What color are her eyes? Brown. Wow. I've never seen you notice a girl's eye color before. That's because I'm the best person for her. No, you're not. I bet you don't even know her favorite color. Mmm, it's a nice spruce. I saw her wear it on a shirt the other day, in fact. That nerd ass color. It's obviously purple, you dumbass. I'm pretty sure it's green, because that's what she wore on our date yesterday. It's purple. No, I think it's, it's green. Purple. It's definitely it's green. Purple. It's green. It's I, was, purple. I was on it's a date purple. with it's her. Purple. Actually, it's purple. Purple. Yellow. Yellow. It's it's purple. yesterday on our date, I was on a Hey, Erica! Hey, what's hey, up? Hey, you look really good today. Actually, I was just about to say that. You look great. Actually, I think you look really good today. Shut, Shut up, up Bryce! What's up, Shadi? Oh, did you only compliment her today? Well, you look stunning on our date yesterday. Aye, no need to brag, dude. Calm down. Calm down. Damn. Actually, you guys are a step behind. I invited her to watch me at practice today. You what? Watch you do what? Fumble the ball again, like always. It's not okay, even you funny. Like, you 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 guys... boys are so shallow, worried about her appearance and how much you're with her. Erica, how are you feeling today? You know, guys, it's Monday. It's a little too early in the week to start arguing, right? Oh, I'm not arguing. I'm right. Well, that's great. But uh, I know you came over here to say hi. But we're gonna go look at some homecoming dress ideas. Yeah. Um. Give me a second. I'm gonna go buy a ticket. Okay. Oh, do you need me to pay for you like I paid for you on our Kate? date yesterday? No, I can't. You didn't even I got it like that. Big racks, big money. I, I, you can't I, even I, post a money I, spread. I, 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 money I, I, spread. We're good. We're good. Bye. I'm glad to see you've made so many friends. She didn't even look at me.
hate her. It's time I make her life a living hell. So, I was just over there with Erica, right? And like, Levi's entire friend group likes her, like including Morgan. It's like some sort of competition. What makes you say that? Well, like, they were all drooling all over her. She's not too bad to be a new girl. Not too bad? She's gorgeous. I bet she doesn't even know that they all like her. She's, She's so oblivious. oblivious. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I call getting even for all the silent moments I've endured. Friendships that are jokes, ending within seconds, leaving me with scars that are ignored. I'm the outcast. I'm the win this competition, right? Ha! No. Uh, what? I think I can. Uh, well, I think she likes me. She would never like someone like you. I beg to differ. She's mine. No, Erica's mine. Okay, well, I already went on a date with Erica. Yeah, when you asked. Okay, like she was saying yes to you? Yeah. Hey, guys. I just wanted to say I had a lot of fun on our date yesterday, Levi. I'll see you in Chamber Choir, Morgan. Bye. I'm winning this competition. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You're I definitely am gonna win. No, because I win everything. I'm Miss Erica has admirers. This is better than I thought. I wonder what happens if this competition all ends wrong. This is what I call getting even for all the silent moments I've endured. Friendships that are just within seconds, leaving me with scars that are ignored. I'm the outcast, I'm the loner, I'm the mystery that's never really there. But hey world, it's me, it's time I get revenge, it's time that I start over, it's time that All right, men, let's go over the place for this week's game. <laughs> Axel, come on, keep your eye on the ball. Hey, hey, keep those legs moving. Go, <laughs> move. I am done. I'm gonna leave for five minutes, and if you punks actually want to win this game, by the you will get your game together by the time I get back. Do I make myself clear? Crap, what are we gonna do? Wait. I have this cool new play we can add. What's it called? Skipping practice for a stupid choir event? <laughs> no, <laughs> good one, good one. Trust me, it'll work. It's called Play Erica. It's dedicated to the girl I'm going to ask to homecoming after practice. <laughs> Fun. All right, y'all. Let's do this. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Let's go. Yeah! Let's go. Yeah! Let's go. Yeah! Let's go. Yeah! 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 Settle down, y'all. Play Erica. Ready? Break! Break. Set. Go! Good job, man. Yes, yes. Isn't that the girl you're asking? Yeah. She's kind of cute. Don't even think about it, bud. Oh.
Lobsters on me, lobsters on three. One, two, three, lobsters! Yo, Erica. Oh, hey, Axel. My bad. Uh, no, you're good. Good job out there. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yo, he's a better do it! Erica, I thought you were beautiful since the first time I ever met you. So I wanted to ask you. Upside down, bro. Oh, shoot. Will you be my date to homecoming? Well, will you? Axel, I'd love to. Yeah! No. Oh. Tough luck, bro. Well, this is awkward. Well, uh, no, it's nothing against you. I've had a lot on my plate since coming to the school, and the last thing I'm worried about right now is a date. And I'm also worried about my friend, Nicole. I'm trying to get her to meet new people. She has a hard time socializing. You know what would be a great way to get your friend more used to socializing? The homecoming game this Friday. <sighs> I don't know. She doesn't really do well in crowds. Well, that's fine. Nobody comes to our games anyways. Oh, really? Yeah. But you know what? That's going to change this year. We'll beat their ass and show the people that the homecoming dance is not the only thing to look forward to this year. Coach Mooney will be so proud of us and we'll even throw a huge ass party. Oh, if you guys are going to win, maybe I should come. To the game? I mean, that'd mean the world to me. I mean, it'd be great to have people there, but I'm not saying you're not important. You are important to me like any other pretty girl I still got. Shit, I didn't mean to say you're pretty. You're not ugly, but you're hot. I mean, it's hot out here is what I meant. <laughs> Just, please come to the game, for me. I'll think about it. Also, thanks for the proposal, by the way. It means a lot that you thought about me for this. Of course. Thanks for coming to practice. Yeah, it was fun. See you later. Man, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> so, did you ask Erica to homecoming yet? No, but I'm going to today. Oh, how? How? Well, you know how I'm the president of the book club, right? No, we have a book club? Yes. Anyway, we have book club every Thursday, but I told Erica that we have it on Tuesdays and invited her. Ah, oh, so she's gonna come today and no one's gonna be there. That's the point, Dingus. I'm gonna set up the room with candles and roses and it'll be the most romantic night of her life. Aww. You think it's a good plan? No, that's awful. That's why I'm so happy. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see when I win her in the end. Hey, Bryce. Is this the right room for the meeting? Oh, you've entered the right room, all right. Um, where is everyone? Oh, I'm sure they'll get here later. Um, I thought book club was right after school. Uh, oh, it is. Let's read a book. I brought the book you told me to bring. Oh, would you like it that I forgot my copy? Looks like we have to share. You didn't even check your bag. I know I forgot it. Wow, that was a really, really good chapter. Bryce? Rise! Oh, sorry. I was just saying how the first three chapters are really good. I loved it. You think so? Yeah, what'd you think? I, I really like you. Oh, Bryce, you're so sweet. You're so nice. I also like the setup you did. I really like the candles, too. Oh, you're so kind. You remind me of my favorite character from this book. Um, isn't she, like, messed up? Oh. I know, she's a damsel in distress, and you're so strong. How could a lame guy like me ever care for a beautiful princess like you? Um... Oh, did I say that out loud? You must think I'm a loser, don't you? No, I don't. This is all so sweet of you. You don't? Well, 
That's a first. I'm pretty bad at talking to girls. My friends are always making fun of me because I'm so shy and they're all confident and loud. You don't need to be confident or loud to be a good person. I'd rather you be yourself than a bad person. When I'm with you, Erica, I, I don't feel any need to be shy at all. I feel like I can do anything. For once, I don't feel like such a side character. It's getting late. I should probably We've got it a whole different price, Erica. I don't know how I, I can ever thank you, except will you be my damsel in distress for one night and go to homecoming with me? Is that what the roses and candles are for? Is that a yes? It's a yes to liking the candles. Yes! But a no to the proposal. Oh. Well, do I have permission to ask why? It's not you, I promise. This was all so thoughtful of you. But I see you more as a friend. A really good friend. It was a sweet gesture. Thanks for asking. Oh, well, thanks for rejecting. See you later. See ya. Wow. I guess nice guys really do finish last. Dang, girl! Looking like a snack today. Huh. Can I see the rest of the menu or should we skip right to dessert? I don't know where that one was going. I don't want to sound like a creep. Sounds like something Bryce was saying. Oh, this whole thing? You know, I knew what you'd like. Yeah. Got this shirt right here. It's made out of 100% boyfriend material. Nah. Sound like a douche. Sound like a Levi. Come on, man. Got this. Whew. I'd say God bless you, but looks like already has. Cause you're fine, baby. Damn. Nah, that's nah, that's too much. That's too much. Plus, what if she doesn't even sneeze? Then I have no reason to say bless you. But God did bless her with the Wait. Girl, you're so fine you made me forget my pickup line. So anyways, <laughs> what about homecoming with the man of your dreams? Yes! Oh, 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 I bet. And I knew after I fought that shark, my life would never be the same. Really? That is so brave. I know. Anyways, Erica, I wanted to ask you something. Yeah, what's up? Yo! What's Owen doing with Erica? Why is he touching her? Anyways, Erica, I was... Oh, jeez. Did I actually forget what my pickup line was? How the heck did I... No way. It looks like he's freezing up right now. I've never seen him freeze while trying to pick up a girl. Um, what'd you want to tell me? Even I wasn't this nervous. <laughs> Oh, look at Erica. She's so fine. Let me forget my pickup line. <gasps> That's it! Um, Owen? Shit. You so fine, let me forget my pickup line. Shit. <laughs> Anyways, how about Hoko with the man of your dreams? I'm sorry, Owen. It's a no. Ooh. I knew you'd say yes. Yeah, I see him more as a friend. Damn! <laughs> Why? Are you friend zoning me right now? Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> Aren't you getting friend zoned? <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it here first. I'm going from the friend zone to the end zone. I don't think that's gonna happen, Owen. Well. Bye! What are you looking at? I... I... I'm, I'm so sorry! You look so stupid and made me forget I was gonna say! <laughs> oh, Owen. It gets better. Oh, oh. Hey, guys. 
Hey, Erica. Sorry, I just rejected y'all's friend. Oh, no, honestly, don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. Hey, if you're not going with Owen, can I take him? Oh, oh that oh. is so nice. No way. I mean, he's kind of cute. Owen? The same nerd that just ran over there? Yes, Levi. That cutie. Owen is a cutie. Ew. Did, did somebody say I'm cute? If you don't have a date for homecoming, let me know. Doodles. <laughs> Did y'all just hear that? Yay, Owen! We were right here. Take that! In all of your faces! Woohoo! Mom, I guess it's already over me. You know who's not over you? Oh my god. Uh, so, Erica. Oh my god, Erica! Hey, we have choir next. Oh yeah! Bye! Okay, so Sopranos, we're Good gonna- Good morning, Yasmin. Oh, there's kids here. Good morning, Miss Summers. Oh, hi, Coach Moody. How are you doing this morning? Good, just thought I might bring my favorite co-worker some coffee. Aww. Guys, stop, stop. No, 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 guys. Keep going, come on, come on. Aww. Oh, what's that on your finger? Oh, it's a mood ring. It basically tells me how I'm feeling based on my emotion. What does that color mean? Violet means I'm happy. Does that mean I make you happy? Oh. I bet he wishes that he could put a different ring on her finger. Good morning, Miss Summers. What the heck is going on here? Oh, hi, Mr. Tucker. I see Coach Mooney has already got you some coffee. Oh, wow. Did you bring me coffee, too? Yes, because you're my favorite coworker. And I thought I was to you too. Ooh. Ooh. Kids, stop! No, no, no. Keep going. Ooh. Ooh. You are my favorite coworker, along with Coach Rooney. So I have to share that title. No. Just, just take your coffee. Oh, thanks. Oh, sorry. Let me get that for you. Oh, thanks. <gasps> Coach Tucker is proposing in the summers. She likes him too. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. Oh, no, stop. Stop encouraging it. <laughs> no, no, no. You guys do. You guys can keep going. Come on. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, are you going to that homecoming festival thing tomorrow? I was planning on just being with the choir, but after that I think I'm going to home. Well, well, after choir's done, I'm not really hanging out with anyone, so if you wanted to hang out with me, I guess that could be fun. Aww, Morgan, you want to hang out with me? No, 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 you want to hang out with me. I do, actually. Oh, okay. Well, it's a date, or whatever. Like, 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 like a date, a, a calendar date. I was fine with it just being a regular date. Oh, okay. Then it's a date or whatever. <laughs> what happened to the shirt you were wearing earlier? Let me tell you about it. Coach Mooney comes running down the hallway with these. Don't ask! Anyways, anyone's day going as great as mine. We don't care, Owen. We get it. You have a hot day to homecoming and we don't. Yeah. Why do nice guys always finish last? Shut up, Bryce. So if you two got rejected, and I got a date. After you got rejected, too. Don't worry about that. The point is, that only leaves Levi and Morgan in the competition. Well, it's no big surprise. One of us is going to get the date, and it's not going to be you. Hold on, I haven't even asked her yet. But are you in the homecoming court? I don't think so, because I got a good picture right we here that so just proves cool everything. Guys, guys. guys. Let's just call it like it is. Let's make the best man win. Or woman. Or maybe both men and women can win. I'm just excited for the homecoming festival tomorrow. It's gonna be so much fun. Why are you excited? You're not even on the float. You're not even on court, actually, and so. Whatever. I'm just excited because I'm going with Erica. Huh? Yeah, so you can have fun on your cute little float. 
<laughs> Wait, you're going with her? Yeah, choir's participating, and we're gonna hang out afterwards. Oh, okay. Here we go. But you don't have to go with her. There it is. Okay, but why can't you just go with Axel? I'll be with the team. Uh, and what about Bryce? The book club is also participating. What? The book club? Where did y'all even come from? Owen doesn't do anything. Owen, go with Morgan. No can do, dude. I'm gonna be going on my homecoming date after she gets off the homecoming float. And we're gonna go on a homecoming date. All right, you can shut up now. <laughs> Get over it, Levi. Erica wants to go to the homecoming festival with me and not you. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. Stop for Levi! What do you think he's gonna do? Yeah, I noticed a bit of tension there. It's fine, he's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna make an announcement. Is everyone having fun? Yeah! And are you guys ready for the homecoming game tomorrow night? Where Jeff's gonna win? No. Yeah! Hey, we're gonna win! Yeah! Uh, you'll see! Bye! Bye! Hey, please, how's it going? Yeah. Thanks! I've never been to one of these before. Dang, your old high school must have been lame. <laughs> Not at all. Except between you and me, I think I'm starting to like this place a little bit better. Oh my god, how'd you know this was my favorite? I guess I just know you better than everyone else. I guess I'm kind of having fun on this date. Oh, me too. I'm so happy I got to get to know you and all your friends. It's been fun. It has. So, I've been meaning to tell you something, Erica. Oh, no, do you hate me? No, no, of course not. No. It's actually kind of the opposite. <gasps> OMG. She's getting closer. I, I think she's about to do it. Of course she is, dumbass! <laughs> Axel! You may be bigger and stronger than me, Shh, but it's coming. Erica, I- Erica! Since the moment I first met you, I knew you weren't like the other girls. <gasps> and honestly, I don't see anyone here by my side at the dance, except for you. So I have one very big question. But first, When I was a child, I could not hold myself up Now I've grown big and strong and so there's all that But now what? I must set my sights higher I want to try something new I want something that's special Something I could get from you Just leave her. She probably wants to murder him right now. I know I would. I must ask you, I need to know These feelings I just can't let go Please Eric
Melissa McCarthy, the most beautiful, smartest, and wittiest girl at the school. Will you make me the happiest man and go to homecoming with me? Oh, Levi, I'll think about it. Well, what does that mean? It means I'll think about it. Well, it's not a no! Yeah! Let's keep the party going! Oh, sorry about that, Morgan. Morgan? I've dreamed every day of what we could have been Now he's just gone and stole my moment I was on top of the world and nothing could bring me down You ruined everything all for some stupid crown I won't stand for it I'm on the battle to win your heart And I'm ready for it Because it was you right from the start I'll be the star that will guide you When you are falling apart It's what I wanted to say But now he's gone and stole my moment What kind of friend steals a chance like that And planning all of this behind my back Please, Erica, it's either me or him And now it's time to choose I don't know your answer, but it's my time now Won't stop until I know without a doubt I'm moving forward and I'm stepping out Won't stop until my feet's on the ground I'll be the star I don't know, who knows what it'll turn out to be But in the end I hope never could I hope it'll be me I hope it'll be me My moment So, here's the deal One second period ends we're gonna go in there and ask Miss Summers. Well, to me, it's Yasmin. Uh, all right, fine, whatever. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna ask Yasmin. Whoa, to me, it's Yasmin. I don't know about you. Fine, whatever. We're gonna go in there and we're just gonna ask her out on a post homecoming date. All fine. right? Fine. I'll ask her first. No, I'm gonna ask her first. No. We'll ask together. Fine. That is suitable. Yasmin. It's Miss Summers. There's still students in the room. In fact, why are you guys even still here? Get out of here! Scram! Okay, shut up, nerd. Miss Summers, you know me and you are chaperone at the dance tomorrow night, and I was curious if you wanted to go have dinner after. Uh, or with me, or with me. Well, that's really sweet of you both, but I have a really busy schedule. Well, so let, me, let me help you with your work. Oh, Miss Summers, you know me and you go way back. Wait, hold on. I asked first, all right? Well, maybe she wants a real man to do it. Oh, just shut up already. Oh, you're, you're a football guy. You're going to be a football guy. Right? Right? All right, now, mathematics. All right, well, I, look, yeah, quadratic formula and everything, but you just throw a ball. It's a cylinder. Oh, all right, whatever. Who cares? Did I do something to bother you? Please, Morgan, if there's anything I can do to make you feel better- NOTHING! You can't do anything about it, Erica. You can't make everybody happy, no matter how hard you try. What do you mean? Did I do something yesterday at the homecoming festival? I thought we were having fun. It's not just about homecoming or the festival, Erica. 
It's about you. You try to satisfy everyone around you and it's annoying. I've never seen you once just stop and take care of yourself or realize even a little bit just how amazing you are. Because, well, you're amazing. And humble enough to believe that the insignificant people you're worrying about right now are worth more than, worth more than you. And that's why I like you. You do? Yes, and deep down I think you feel the same way. And I don't need an answer right now because I'm done trying so hard. But if you're too stubborn to even try to deny that there's something here, then I don't know what else to do. I know you and Levi are kind of a thing. <laughs> what do you mean? Yesterday? Didn't you say yes to Levi? No, I didn't. Oh. Oh! Erica McCarthy. I may not be on the homecoming court every year, or a starring player on the football team, or a funny person, or even a smart ass, but I desperately want you to come to homecoming with me. Oh God, that was so corny. I'm so so, oh God. I'm spending way too much time with you. I'm helping you way more than Mr. Tucker is. You know you wouldn't do it. Miss Summers! What? Who's helping you more? Obviously not him. Shut up! You shut up! Well, and you just assaulted me with that paper. Aren't these your papers? Um, don't worry about that. I'm helping her right now, and you're just all up in here messing with me. Oh my god, get out! See, look what you did! What are you talking about? She never gets mad at me. Shut up and get out. Erica? Say something. So? Uh, think about it. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'll think about it. Did you say the same thing to Levi? Um... I should have been. Uh, wait, no, Morgan!
I didn't mean to come off as rude. It's just you're usually here at the beginning of the day. I, I just forgot my music. Oh, yeah, no problem. Go ahead, grab it. Sorry to bother you. No, you're really not a bother. It's just been a long, stressful day. Tell me about it. Actually, I will. You have Mr. Tucker as a teacher, right? Oh, if you do want to tell me about it. Anyway, so Mr. Tucker and Coach Mooney have apparently had a crush on me for like weeks now. For sure, I see them bringing in coffee every single week. Exactly, and they both ask me out after homecoming. Nice, and who's the lucky man? I don't know. They're both nice guys, but they haven't really acted like they care about me, you know? Yeah, I get that. You do? Yeah, I've got like a love triangle situation going on too. What? Haven't you been going to the school for like two seconds? I know, and they're both such good people. I just don't want to get either of them hurt. How do you feel? I don't know how to feel exactly. Well, oh, honey, I never thought we'd be so similar. I know how hard it is to choose between two goods in the world, and you don't want anybody to get hurt. Because you're like me. We both see something special in every person. And who the hell are we to turn off that spark that makes every individual beautiful? But then again, who the hell are they to turn off our spark by making us choose? Like we're just some prize to be won to fulfill their own happiness, but the only thing we should be worrying about is our own. When I realized that I should be putting myself first before them, it was too late, and I would hate for that to happen to you. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Listen, I don't have the exact answer for you, but no beautiful young lady should be having an existential crisis over some needy, greedy men. Or woman. Or woman. You're a beautiful young lady, Erica. You truly have something special. Don't let anybody take that away from you. That's what the damn East Coast does to people. Ralph! What? I'm just telling the truth. Erica, why aren't you at the game? I don't feel like going. Why not? I'll tell you why not. That team is atrocious. Dad, my friend's on that team. Well, tell your friend to be better. I'm not going because I'm stressed. I have to choose between two homecoming dates and I just don't want to hurt either of them. Two homecoming dates? Why is this the first time I'm hearing about this? Honey, relax. We'll get it. And don't think we forgot about the two-date dilemma. Honey, come on! <sighs> Levi... Morgan. Levi... Morgan. Levi? Erica, your friends are here! <laughs> they did it! <laughs> huh? They actually won! Yeah! The team and Axel were going crazy! It seems to have a party at his house. You have to come. I don't know. Why not? Levi. Morgan. Levi. Morgan. Oh, man. What Shut do? up! 
Stop it, Owen. Listen, it'll be fine. But what if they're there? They're gonna want answers. No, they won't. And that reminds me of something. Y'all need to hurry. Axel said the party's getting packed up. Wait, but... Come on, I don't want the spinach to run out. That nerd-ass food. Oh, Jesus. Uh, come on, Erica, let's get you ready. Fine, let's go. Dude, what's the matter? We just won. I know, and that's the problem. We just won, but I'm going to tell people that's what we're going to do, but no one believes it. So? Well, everybody's been hyping us up. I just don't understand where all this fake love came from. I just wish this team would have supported the Dude, chill out. You're not seeing the good side. Now that we've won, we have to get like celebrities. No. No. We're not. I have done everything for this team My blood, sweat, and tears Just to be called the worst in the sport It's absurd, don't you think That the people that once dared to shout and boo us here now Celebrating that they once adored us It's absurd, don't you think It's some joke, don't you think that's an interesting point, but I don't believe that at all A victory is ours who we call We just won, we just won, we just won Trust me, there's nothing that can make me feel better about this Hey, uh, I saw you seem play tonight, nice job Actually, you know what? I feel Great, we really won, didn't we? Life really does have its moments. We won, we won, we won, we won. We are the heroes, but how we lay our bloodlines be. Nothing can stop us now since we are free. We really Wow. I know, doesn't that make you feel a lot better? We can go get some drinks and like, I'll show you around with some people. To the spinach dick! That nerd-ass fool! <coughs> Good evening all. I am the expert coach responsible for our winning team tonight. I will let it be known, now that this outcome was always expected because of my expert leadership ability and my very, very sweet smile. Oh, my apologies. The spotlight seems to be calling my name. Allow me to give the people what they desire. Fly me to the moon. Raised in Tennessee to see a team that makes me proud to be an American. <coughs> Mooney's party going to a goddamn moon. Curly's Mooney spaceship will go soon. Hey, Madeline, there's a uh, group trying to spin the bottle over there. I wonder if you'd like to play. It's in the group. You and your boy. Alright, let's go. This looks like no one wants to talk to you. Mind if I keep you company? Charming, but okay. So, got me in a homecoming sash. You like it? Yeah, it's cool. It's almost as beautiful as you. Almost? Well, maybe not. 
Oh my god, Erica! Uh, Morgan, I thought you were mad at oh, me. don't even mention it. I need to apologize for the way I acted. Uh, after what you told me, I feel so much better. Tell you what. Dude, what the heck? You got a problem, loser? Guys, guys, relax. No, but it seems like you do. Guys? I was talking to her. Oh, doesn't that suck? When you're trying to say something to somebody and somebody interrupts you out of nowhere? Guys. What is wrong with you? No, what's wrong with you? Erica? Erica? So, this isn't fun, but I have to go. Bye! It is getting heated, the happening over there. We feel the taste of drama in the air. Can't help us stare. Why are you being such a jerk? Me? You're the one that pushed me. No. You just can't face the fact that Erica chose me to be her homecoming date and not you. You're funny. Are you Delulu? She picked me. Will you stop lying? I'm not lying. You're just a bad loser. I won and she picked me. Well, why don't we go ask her so you can see that she chose me? Oh, Nicole! I haven't seen you in so long. How have you been? I'm sorry, do I know you? What do you mean? You've been so busy replacing me with other people, I doubt you would even recognize me. What's going on? Nicole, this again? I've just been going through a lot right now. And you think I'm not? My whole life I've been living in the shadows. People always overlook me or use me to get good grades. My achievements were always overshadowed by those nasty popular people who care for nothing but their status and their fake friendships all based on a lie. What are you talking about? What fake friendships? Oh, you're looking at one right here. I have been trying to make different friends since I came here. Yeah, friends I told you to stay away from because they're bad people. They're not. Yes, they are, and so are you. You're a bad person, Erica. I'm not a bad person. I can't believe you. And I couldn't believe you, but here we are. I'm sorry. Erica, where are you going? I'm just feeling a little now. I'm gonna go home. You're leaving this early? Are you all right, Erica? I, I'm way more concerned about her. Well, you should. No, because, because, because I'm concerned about her. I need to go home. Wait, before you go, can you tell us which one of us you... Levi, stop. I'm gonna go home. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. She said that to me, by the way. No, she didn't. Well, we still don't know who she said it to. Yeah, but you're acting like it's you. Well, why would she say it to you? Why wouldn't she? Well, same question. Why would she want to go to someone who wasn't on Homecoming Girl for the last three years? Is that all you care about? This damn sash? Being popular? Having the spotlight? Having your moment? No, I just wondered what I wanted for once, and I couldn't even get that. Look at you! You're the most popular guy in class. You're liked, you're well known, and yet you still want more! I would love the spotlight occasionally, but no, I'm always in your shadow when I want to do something. Oh yeah? Look at you! Me? You're always criticizing me. You're always making fun of me and downplaying everything I do. I had fun with Erica, and I've never felt like this with any girl before. Neither have I. And you knew that. The moment we both wanted something, I knew you wouldn't be fair. You knew I was going to ask Erica to the homecoming festival last night, and yet you had this big proposal. You're not only a bad competitor, you're a bad friend. Me? A bad friend? Yes! I've never met someone so selfish and conceited as you! I am not! I'm not done! Because You're not letting me speak. I'm not letting you talk about me like this. But it's true. You don't care about me, Axel, Bryce, Owen, Erica. The only person Levi Bauman cares about is Levi Bauman. Well, I'm not going to let you stand here and disrespect me like this. Fine. Then I won't just stand here. Oh! You know what? Why? Why? this is never the answer? Shut up! What the fuck are y'all doing? What are you talking about? He didn't play fair. It's not about that. Nah, because it's supposed to be a big night full of celebration. And y'all over here letting a girl, y'all met for two weeks, set, set this shit apart. And now Erica's gone and all y'all care about is who won. Well, dude, that's not an excuse. We were all part of this competition and you shouldn't have let it gone this far. Y'all need to leave. Gladly. Get the step in. Oh my gosh. Leave? I can't leave, I'm on the courts. Nobody gives a damn. You don't even have a stash anymore. Now get out of here, nerd! Oh, oh. <laughs> My boy. Guys, I don't know if this has anything to do with what I saw earlier, but it's pretty weird. We need to talk. About what? Well, there's this weird girl at school. Do y'all know her? Her name's Nicole. No. Yo, who's that? Oh. I know her. She came to my book club one day, but she left because I was being too social or something. Oh. Damn. Forget that. I need to tell you guys about something that happened weird today. What? 
Well, it's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you after the party. After the party? I wanna know. I wanna know too. Me three. Well, you and I can keep on playing spin the bottle in the other room. Maybe we should wait after the party. So, let me get this straight. Nicole found about the competition. Realized that it was down to just Morgan and Levi. Created fake notes, put them on their backpacks, pretending to be Erica saying yes. As an attempt to stress Erica out and have them turn on her? To get revenge on Erica abandoning her. Exactly. So how'd you figure all this out? I literally just told you the whole story. Oh, you quiet kids are absolutely rambunctious, dude. And stink. Hey. How come you haven't told Erica about this? I wasn't sure what she was trying to do at first, but when I saw her and Nicole fight, and then like she left, I knew it had something to do with the yes notes. Call me crazy, but I don't see a reason why she would say yes to both of them. That's true. So yeah, what should we do? Uh, aren't you getting ready with Erica tomorrow? I mean, yeah, but she's just been under so much pressure lately. What about telling Levi? There's another way he's gonna listen to us for a second about dude. All he's gonna talk about is getting homecoming king and being top of the class once again. We could at least try. If you guys can manage telling Levi about it, then I don't have to stress about Erica. Understood, but it's gonna be hard to tell him. It shouldn't be that hard. My shoes! Where are my shoes? I have to win homecoming king tonight, and I'm not gonna win if I have no shoes! Um, here are your shoes. Also, we found something that we need to tell you. No time! I don't have time to stress about anything! I have my sight set on the crown that I need to win. Levi, this is very important. It has a lot to do with last night. Grr, shut up! I need my shoes for this dance, and I can't accept my crown looking crazy. Here are your shoes. It's the last night, and it's the last night. Indeed. We can't start talking crap about him right now. We need to tell him what matters until she saw. Seems like you're not doing anything too important right now. But I have something to tell you. My sash! My sash! Where's my sash? Bryce, did you pin it back together after Morgan ripped it off last night? I, I didn't have time. Why not? Because I was getting ready for homecoming too. <sighs> oh my god, I need my sash! Go do it now! Bryce, you can't leave right now. Bryce, go. Damn. Y'all should hit him like a dog. Could it be me? Sit! Stay. Anyway, about the thing. Do you think Bryce has the right pin for my sash? I don't want it to be too pointy. Boy, nobody gives a damn about that sash. You need to listen to us right now. Oh. I, I get what's going on. You do? Yeah. You two are jealous. Because Erica said she'd go to homecoming with me. Excuse me. I'm going to get Levi's sash from Bryce so I can choke him with it. No! Owen, wait! That is just a perfect dress for your girl. Homecoming is going to be a blast and you already look bomb. I'm telling you, there's nothing to be nervous about, Katie. <sighs> Thanks. What's wrong? I don't know, just this whole thing. The whole date drama, my first homecoming. Me not being, well, you know, not that well known. Are you kidding? Being popular has nothing to do with having fun. Look, I know it might be hard not to judge me by my appearances, but I actually don't pay attention to being on like homecoming court or like having all eyes on me. But like, I'm a choir kid and probably one of the loudest, most obnoxious people ever. So like, I don't even know why people like vote me for that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but what if the pressure of having both Levi and Morgan there gets to me? Girl, the reality is, high school is all about making memories with the people you love. And about the Levi Morgan situation, just don't worry about it. They were being jackasses last night. Which reminds me of something. I saw something kind of weird yesterday. Whatever. I'm just glad I don't have to go with either of them anymore. Are you crazy? You're not going with either of them? No. If I were you, I would have gone with Levi. He's way better. Are you kidding? Morgan is so much better. She's no. a better personality. Oh, even start no, with no, 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 no. Because because did you see conversation. last You guys are not helping. Now, you know what? I just need to face it. This problem's not going to go away.
But that's not what's important right now. We need to get ready. March 4th, great man of the battlefield of dance, there's no way in hell we'll fall. Songs of war from our father's father's tribe are still strife of for the dance floor. Thank you. 
Fight for our grandchildren Through the dance floor Going for the dance floor Hey, Miss Summers. I brought us some punch from us. Thank you. I know we're going to be in for a long night. So, I was thinking, um, if you're not busy after this, we could... Uh, no thanks. What? Hey, Miss Summers. I already brought her punch. Thank you very much. Okay, and? So get out of here. Scram. I was just going to ask Yasmin if she wanted to go out after the dance. She can't. She's busy with other things. She's going with you? No. Oh, wow. So you got rejected? No, she's just busy. You're busy, right? No. See, I told you. Wait, no? So, Yasmin, after the dance, do you want to... No, thank you. Oh, maybe she is busy then. I just want to be away from both of you right now. This is all your fault, hipsqueak. What are you talking about? There's no way that this is my fault. Yes, it is. I'd say this is your fault. You came on way too strong, man. I was in the middle of my proposal and everything. Ah, my party. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to my mates on the court. Okay, do you? What? Whatever. Guys, what we're gonna do, we have to talk about what Madeline told us. Eric's not here yet, so let's do it. I have a bad feeling about this. You're a bad feeling, Bryce. Okay, I I'm getting tired of you guys being mean to me. Bro, sorry, I literally do your homework for you every oh, day. Guys, stop arguing. The girls just came in. I guess we have no time to tell them. Let's just go with the flow. Hey guys, looking good, Owen. Oh, this old thing? Touch this. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> Made out of 100% boyfriend material. Oh my god, he's so smooth. Yeah. Yeah. No, why would you think that? You guys look so good. I like your suit, Axel. Wait, really? You like it? I. Uh, shit! You, I like your suit too. I, you're not wearing a suit. Girls, can you stay here with Erica to get some drinks? I'll be right back. Sure. Give me one too, please. Marcus, can we get some privacy? Wow, that's crazy. You're definitely not getting the ball next game. Just go. Alright, whatever. Um, so I didn't tell Erica about the whole thing that Nicole did. You didn't tell Levi either. He was too busy being gushy with the whole kind of thing. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? I don't know, because any moment now Morgan's gonna walk through that door and all hell's gonna break loose. Oh god, I just cursed. Shut up, Bryce. What did I just say about being mean to me? Dude, it's okay. Bro, you know what? No more homework. I'm not doing homework anymore. Yo, yeah. I don't need your homework. <laughs> Guys, Morgan, one o'clock. Okay, everyone act natural or okay. Morgan, what are you doing here? It's homecoming. Oh my god, Morgan, where'd you get that dress You look so good. Girl, you ate that. Don't do that, please. Uh, where's my date? And she better not be with him. Who's him? You all know who him is. You see, but like, he's not entirely responsible for this whole thing. It's like, something else is going on. Okay, save it, Madeline. I know you're just trying to cover for your fellow Poco Port buddy. No, Morgan, it's true. It's not entirely Levi's fault. What is wrong with y'all? Why can't you just be happy for me for once? We're not saying we're not happy for you, but... I'm gonna go for I've got it. Let's just keep Levi and Morgan away from Erica. Well, like, Levi's already busy enough, and Owen and I can stay with Erica, and you two go stay with Morgan. No fair. Why do we have to stay with Morgan? What's wrong with Morgan? I don't know. She makes me self-conscious. Just get over it and go with Morgan. Fine. Bang. All right, homecoming on three. Ready? One, two, two three, homecoming. Dude, it was an accident. Oh, wait. Dude, it was oh, an accident. That's it. That's it. Hey, hey, hey. Let's get off with it, yeah? Okay. Hey, I made this couple punch for my friends, but now I can't find them. Can you take this off my hands? Uh, sure. Thanks. Free buds. 
Hey Marcus. Okay. Great game last night. Can you sign this football for me? Sure. Yeah. No, you can keep it. But why would Just you keep it? Okay. Also, go to your favorite receiver and play a game of catch with him. Why would I do that? Five bucks. Deal. Dude, let's go play catch. I'm about to get paid to play catch with you, so let's go. Fine. Stay here with Morgan. Why are you keeping me over here? You told me that Erica was here. Uh. Bryce, are you hiding anything from me? Uh, you wouldn't hide anything from me, would you? Hey, cutie. Hi. You look really good tonight. What's your name? Uh, hi. I'm Bryce Hedricks, president of the Lambert High School Book Club. Okay, don't need to do all that. I've seen you around and I think you're really cute. Yeah, you do look familiar. Well, perhaps we can get more familiar with each other. Okay, I'm about to barf. Just go, Bryce. Really? Yes, just go. Okay. It's all coming together now. Morgan? Hmm. I'm gonna go find Eric. <laughs> Good thing I didn't do that last night! Yeah! What did I say about throwing the ball indoors? Sorry. You! Drop it, give me 20! You're not Coach Mooney. I'm my way, chum. <laughs> Bryce and Nicole, that's an odd pair. Yeah, I mean, Nicole. I'm sorry, Bryce and who? They're over there dancing. They seem to like each other a lot. Oh, this dumbass. I'll be right back. I just gotta go do a thing. Where are you going? Just stay. Okay, geez. Stupid Marcus, I swear. Last night he was lucky. Erica! Oh, Levi! I've been looking all over for you. Where you been? Oh, I've been here pretty much the whole night. Oh, hell no. Hey, Erica, what's going on here? What do you think you're doing? Holding my date's hand. You mean my date's hand? Okay, well, hold on. Erica, tell him you chose me. No, tell her you chose me. I swear, I didn't know who she was. Didn't you say you knew her from book club? Oh, that's where I know her from. Guys, we got trouble. What is he doing over here? Scoring touchdowns. Apparently taking people's heads off. Come on, guys. Come over here. There you go. Levi, go away. You're making her uncomfortable. No, I make her uncomfortable. She's my date, not yours. Levi Morgan, what a nice surprise. Can we all just call him? Would down? you stop lying? Erica chose me. You know what, Morgan? It's not my fault that you lost this whole thing. Levi, oh, shut up. No, I won this whole competition and you lost. Stop being a sore loser. Why are you lying? This whole thing was literally your idea. Erica likes me. No, she likes me. I won. Won? Competition? What are you guys talking about? Morgan, Levi. Calm down. I didn't say yes to either of you. What? But I got a note on my book bag from you saying that you said yes. So did I. I didn't write any notes. Someone must have signed my name on it telling you guys I said yes. But who would lie and use your name like that? That would be me. <gasps> Nicole, but why? 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 People always overlook me and use me to get good grades. My achievements were always overshadowed by those nasty popular people who care for nothing but their status and their fake friendships. I wanted something real, something that will make me feel relevant in this high school prison. I thought I had found that when I found you, Erica. For once I had a real friend, someone who cared for me beyond my appearance and my knowledge. Someone who could see right through me and still stick with me till the end. I was so stupid, but so were you. Every time you were out there sharing laughs with the people you replaced me with, I slowly and surely calculated your downfall. I wanted you to finally feel how I felt when you left me alone and forgotten. So who's laughing now? You never meant to hurt you. I promise every emotion was genuine. You never should have done it to begin with. Erica, I'm so sorry. I swear that what I felt was true. Yeah. I'm so sorry.
so used. I don't know why they do that to me. It's almost as if these guys and girl don't know when they've pushed it too far. Oh, trust me, I know. Why do you keep following me around? I'm sorry. Can I talk to you? Fine. You look beautiful today. Whatever. I have to start a brand new year at a brand new school, make brand new friends in a brand new city, and have brand new problems. Leave. No. Well, I don't want to talk to you right now. Well, I do. Why? So you can win this competition and rub it in the guys' faces? No. Well, yeah, but... Well, I'm out of here. I'm kidding. I don't care. I already said I don't want to talk to you. And I already said I do. Of course. What I wanted doesn't even matter at the end of the day. I can't even believe you guys did this. I thought you guys wanted to be friends with me for me. It honestly just hurts that all you ever wanted was to win me. You knew my situation. I moved across the country saying goodbye to the only circle of friends that I knew. I thought I found a new circle of friends here that loved me, that loved being around me, accepted me for who I am. Erica, I'm sorry. Save it! It made me feel like a dumbass for thinking that you guys were my real friends. I felt trapped for making new friends because Nicole got mad, but it didn't matter because I had you guys. You guys made me feel like it was okay to be making new friends and most of all to be myself. But now it just all seems like a lie. Your group, especially you and Levi, used me. And there's nothing you or him can do to change that fact. I love you. Huh? I said, I love you. 
You know you don't. I do too. No, you barely even know me. So what? Yes, I do. And I think you do too. How are you gonna tell me? Because I know you, Erica. And even if it was our fault for making it a competition, everything I felt for you was real. How do I know you're not just saying that? Be because of this. Erica McCarthy, I may not be on the homecoming court every year, or a starting player on the football team, or a funny person, or even a smart ass. But I really want you to be with me, and I know there's no excuse for what we all did, and I understand if you don't want to forgive me, but... I love you too. You do? I guess that's cool or whatever. I forgive you. Hope you can forgive me too. Listen, if you're just here to argue with me or cause any more drama, you can just leave. You're my best friend, and you deserve to be happy. I'm sorry I treated you like a jerk. You, were, you guys were kind of cute anyway. One, never do that again. Two, you were acting like a jerk. More again. But I guess I was too. You are my best friend, and you deserve to be happy too. And I will be happy. When I went home, gonna be king in a few minutes! <gasps> Are we good? Levi Patrick Bowman is actually apologizing. I am, indeed. I forgive you too. You two really are something special. <laughs> I'm sorry. We didn't mean anything by it. Oh, boys, it's all good. Get off of her! I'm up, okay. Why is everyone standing around? Let's have some fun! Yeah! Forget about what happened for tonight. Don't you have all your friends to hang out with? Yeah, but there's no use hanging out without my first and best friend. You're just saying that. I mean it. There's also someone out here waiting for you. Who? Happening? A real girl? Wait, she's right in front of you. Just dance with me. Why are you doing this? After everything I've done, I don't deserve to be your friend. This is something you can bend. You've always been my friend. You've always been someone. Special. Sorry is always the hardest word, but I'll say it loud and clear. I messed up. Sorry doesn't cut it. I know I've done you wrong. I know I've made mistakes. I hope that we can get along. Congratulations to everyone in the homecoming court. This has been a tight race between many, many people. Just say it already! I'm getting there. This year's homecoming queen, Madeline Armstrong! Woo! And this year's homecoming king is... I'm homecoming king. No, you're not! By association, I am. Levi Bowman! You know he's never gonna shut up about this, right? And now the king and queen will have their first dance. No! I'm dating the homecoming queen. So you're asking me to be your girlfriend? You are. 
I give up. Just go to the gym and dance. I can help but feel close For friends who give their best Just to love and laughter too All the memories we share so true I'm grateful for each and every one My heart, my friends, my heart You're someone special you Nightmare. How bad was it? No, you did great. It really wasn't that bad. The kids are out there having fun. What do you both say to a dad? Well, I don't want to stand around all night. Exactly. Let's go give it a chance. drama and anxiety. But there's one more thing. You will always find something special. Well, someone special. was off. It was, but then I asked Yasmin like a normal person. Oh my god. You just snooze, you lose! <laughs> but there's actually someone here that I want you to meet. Oh my god. You're so beautiful. Wait, did I just say that out loud? It's fine. Hey, what do you say we go on a double date? We can't after this sick student gets picked up from his parent. Who? My mom's here. What happened to you? I threw a spinach chip and fruit punch. Don't do it again. That nerd ass food. Mooney! What? It is. Whatever, his mom's here, right? Let's go. No, we have to walk him to the car. He'll be fine. He has two legs. He'll get there eventually. Okay.
Thank you.